Hey, Tyron, we, we didn't get to talk to defensive players much after the Raiders game. And I'm just wondering how, um, how much improvement do you think you guys made from, from last week to this week? And how did, it, how did it show tonight? I think, you know, to begin, you know, I think the most important thing is just focusing on each other. You know, um, you know opponents are going to throw, you know, each and everything at us. Um, uh, sometimes, you know, we've been able to handle it. Other times we, we haven't. Uh, I think this week it was just all about trust. You know, trusting your teammates, trusting the guy next to you, trusting the communication, trusting the play call. Uh, and I thought, you know, for the most part of the game, um, I thought we was able to do that. I thought we were out there trusting each other, believing in the play call. And uh, I think that kind of showed tonight. You know, obviously, playing against Tom Brady, you know, he's going to make his plays. Uh, but I thought at the end of the day, I thought we held up well. And uh, we forgot about last week. Uh, we moved on. Um, and I thought it served us well. Let's go next to Aaron Ladd. Go ahead, Aaron. Tyrants, everybody got their opinion on, on what's different about Tom Brady now that he's in Tampa Bay. What do you see on film and what did you see today that's different than what he showed in New England? Well, I think, you know, just playing against him in New England, trying to prepare for him. Um, you know, he was one of those guys that, you know, he, he, he loved the quick rhythm, you know, passing game. Uh, he loved to use his running backs uh, in the passing game. I think now it was kind of different. You know, I think he's kind of looking for the receivers. He's looking for those deep balls. Um, but um, I think, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he's Tom Brady. Um, you know, he, he's, he made a lot of great plays tonight. Um, and I thought he found a way to get his team back in the football game. Let's go last three right down the line, starting with Pete Sweeney. Good, Pete. Congrats, Tyron, on the, on the win. How important do you think it was for you guys to make sure that Tom felt pressured? And how did you feel you, you did with that? And then what did you see specifically on your interception? I think that's just, you know, our, our identity. I think that's that's when we play the best. Um, I do think we're capable of dropping eight and, you know, playing, keeping everything in front of us. But I think at the end of the day, we're all about pressure. We're all about playing cover zero, trying to find a way to get, you know, our big guys in one-on-one -on -one matchups, trying to surprise the offense with, you know, uh, cornerbacks or safeties blitzing off the edge. And uh, I thought we were able to do that early on in the game um, and really get his attention early on. Go next to Adam Tyser. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Tyron. Uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on and what, there was a lot going on for you defensively tonight between uh, a lot of three and outs early to a couple picks in the third quarter and then a couple touchdown drives late. Just kind of wanted, in a general sense, how do you feel how you guys did tonight? I felt like we played well. It's always tough to go on the road and you know, play against a quality team, not just any quality team. These guys got weapons all over the place. Hall of Fame is all over the place. Um, I thought we did a great job early on uh, just playing our style of football. Um, uh, you know, obviously there's a few drives, you know, we want back. Kind of went to sleep on Gronkowski <laughs> a little bit tonight, uh, which, you know, he made the plays that, 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 that came to him. Um, but I'm just proud of my guys. I'm proud of the way we bounced back. I'm proud of the way we uh, really tuned out all the noise this week. You know, obviously coming off the Raiders game, you know, there was a lot of opinions about us. Uh, I thought we just, you know, we, we, we forgot about that. Um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, it was all about us, all about the team. Um, and then just getting back to playing the kind of ball we want to play, aggressive, you know, trying our best to create turnovers. Let's go last to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. I know in the past you mentioned that one of your favorite things to do on the field is blitz, to be a part of that pressure. Um, back there again today, similar to the first interception with uh, obviously Watson, just how much of that is necessary for you to get into a rhythm and how much of that was discussed between maybe you and Dave Merritt or Steve Spagnuolo about getting you in the backfield to some degree uh, moving forward? Well, I've, I've never really been one of those players to kind of, you know, tell a coach what I want to do. I always do what my coaches ask me to do. Um, but obviously blitzing is something that I love to do. If I could blitz on the first play of every game, I think I can get into a much quicker rhythm defensively. But, you know, I'm not the play caller. Uh, I just, I believe in my coaches. I believe what they see. Um, and I think that's really the position you have to take, you know, um, uh, as a player. You know, you just have to trust that your coaches, you know, are seeing the right things. And for me, it's all about just playing the call that, you know, Spags call. And, you know, for me, it's all about blitzing with my hair on fire and, I was joking with the guys. If I was six one, you know, maybe that'd have been a forced fumble. But you know, five nine, I couldn't really get my arm to the ball. But either way it goes, great play by Breland, um, and that's the kind of plays we want to make.